Hello and welcome back to a new Quote Friday. My name is Ramita Sekhavarin and you are watching now, actually, The Mirror of the Truth. The first quote is from a Leonardo da Vinci. A great man with a great mind. He said actually once. Here is one thing that the more is needed, the more it is rejected. And this advice, which is unwillingly hidden by those who need it the most, that will be say the ignorant. This and true, I have noticed a lot. Even most vegans are actually have been on the places of all those carnists. I think there are so wise and there have so original excuses still the majority of the carnists are ignorant and don't listen to the advice of people who are actually have been vegan for long long times like me or like uh, that guy from the vegan zombie how's uh, over 25 years vegan even longer than me I'm 15 yes I've not eaten animal corpses at all. So, you must know all the excuses you use to justify it, your consumption of animals are outdated and, quite frankly, already dependent by people like Da Vinci, who was a vegan slash vegetarian. He did not eat animals, their order secretions. If you are reading his notebooks correctly and knowing that when he was reading, when you see parts in his notebook where he's reading, uh, writing this, this way, then it is him. When you see some text in his notebook that is written this way, then there's a study of, study of him. All the things that are written in this way are his notations. And they all did not uh, include animal body parts. There are maybe one of there is one recept that people claim that uh, that maybe he did make, but that recept was not actually something he did actually eat. I suggest because his most favorite food was actually a minestrone soup. A soup made from vegetables, Italian uh, vegetable soup, basically. And if you know, he did not put uh, beef in it, like people do today, because they are rich. I um, have no soul. No, listen to people. Here's another one of the great Leonardo da Vinci. Truly man is the king of beasts, for his brutality exceeds theirs. We are graveyards of the dead and the slain. I've from an early age extain from the juice of meat, and there will come men like me. I'll look at the murder of the other animals, like they're now on, on the murder of man. Mankind. Or species, Old English. Actually, in the time of Da Vinci, even mankind was still a word used for our entire species. And you would have in Old English, you did have the word wear for a man and wife for a female. Weave man means female mankind. So you see all it's still back in words like we have of. Ignorance is blindness. <sighs> Wretched mortals, open your eyes, is what Leonardo da Vinci once did say to his fellow man. Do you not see the suffering you inflict onto other living beings? The brutality we inflict for the gluttony. Are there not enough 
plant food to satisfy the gullet. Indeed. Even if you are actually eating today, uh, only plants. If you eat only plants your whole life, you eat any another plant, you will probably take a long, long, long life to actually have taste all the kinds of plants you can eat. I'm serious. There are more than 20,000 different types of foods you can eat. So, do the math and calculate how much it takes for you to actually eat all those plants that are edible for us. So stop making ridiculous excuses. Any two day, any two seconds to three seconds, a child starved from starvation. Animals don't get to get hungry. So if we can feed around 70 billion land animals. Why cannot we not feed 7.8 billion members of our species? This is ridiculous. At least 70% of all the food worldwide, my own estimate, the lowest are 50 from the world from the world's food organization I can find. But there are low conservatives. Um, I can actually also go on high, so I take 70 as a conservative estimate. Of all the foods on climate is feed to livestock. Of all the soy, and 80 to 90% of all the soy is feed to livestock. Just 3% is for consumption. The other percent is alternative fuel. So, do the math. Also, 50% of all the corn on the planet. Some uh, 50 to 60% of all the grains. 50 is a low conservative estimate. Very low conservative. Is also. Um, animal feeds. So, please people, for one moment don't think that we can stop world hunger in a second if the West and the rich people in poor countries are stopped with be such gluttonous. It takes from 5 to 26 pound of plant products to create one pound of animal flesh dependent on the animal in question. Animal agriculture works like a food production sector in reverse. It takes resources. It destroys the rainforest. If you are knowing it's maybe the rainforest burns. Any, you know, what's the reason of that? Cattle are ranching and animal agriculture are mainly. Some 90% of all the deforestation is because of animal agriculture. Directly linked to it, in fact. You can check out my video about what is destroying the rainforest. Beba and dude. Also, think about this. This one of Gandhi. The greatness of a nation can be judged on the way the animals in it are treated. In other words, as long as we are going to be a bigot 
to pigs, to chickens, to turkeys, and all other animals that have never heard us ever in their whole life. And we are going to justify their, the suffering we inflict on them based on that they are not from our species. We are a bigot, we are an insensitive, worthless, arrogant, self-entitled prick, our count, dependent on near gender. And if that state point is hard and controversial, remember this wise quote of the great Arthur Schopenhauer. When he did say, actually, all through passage through stages, first, it is mad and radical. Because people like to make fun of things they don't understand, specifically when it is to be kind to somebody else. Because most people, let me face it, most people are sad, arrogant, uh, but first and foremost, they are self-centered. That's what our society teaches us. Let's be real. They are focused on the individual, not on the system, not about to being, uh, thinking about others and thinking about other living beings. And not our system does not teach us to live in harmony. It teaches us to conquer and live on our own. Basically, it's to, at least to teach us a bit to like to think like a narcissist. Yeah. And then second, you get violent oppositions around the oppressors. The oppressor starts to lie. The oppressor starts to deceive you, and starts to blame the abolitionists for the suffering. And that the abolitionists are so arrogant that they have the audacity to question the rights or the privileged, privilege, in fact, of the oppressors to their victims. You see that around all history. If you look to the black rights movement, when blacks were truly oppressed in the United States, still the time of uh, Malcolm X and um, and Dr. King, the media was constant, just only focusing most of the time about the violent actions of the Black Panthers. Not all the not fine stuff, and that we're not focusing on the violence of the cops. Just like. That the media is now constantly focusing on the vegans are so arrogant that we are forcing our opinion onto others. When people who are actually eating animals force their opinions onto others, think about the people. You're forcing your opinions onto cows, onto chickens, onto your own children. No child, if they are, know what's happening to the animals. At least not a not psychopathic child. Uh, will harm the animals. They start to cry if you tell them that, and they don't. Most of them don't want to eat it, and specifically when they know that they don't have to eat it to be healthy. So I think, and also you force it onto the other animals, who don't want to be your victim, who don't want to be turned in a commodity, and never go fully degenerate on me, because well. We did your defect. You must remember that you have to watch always any situation from the victim's point of view. If you know, if you want to know right from wrong. If you are truly want to be an honest, moral, consistent person and not a hypocrite tool of the status quo. Then we come to the last stage of acceptance. The last stage of acceptance is when people are actually open their eyes, stop making excuses and start to looking at themselves. Use a little bit of courage instead of doing what anybody else is doing. And then there will 
become nobody anymore that makes excuses. Only the most arrogant and self-entitled narcissist will then make excuses maybe for it, if they think they can get away with it. But sadly, this can be take an 50, 100 or maybe even thousands of years to obtain the obvious conclusion that all living beings deserve to be treated fairly and justly. Open your eyes. Use your heart. Go vegan. When darkness and light become one, your reality splints in a way. And the truth will become visible.